The whole reason that my whole life I've wanted to get into radio is because if you have a radio channel or radio show, you get a jingle. I signed up with Sirius. We have a brand new channel, Sirius Channel 106, Team Coco Radio. And sure enough, they have in-house these professional singers who do jingles for the channel. I was in television for almost 30 years. <laughs> I never got a goddamn jingle. This is the grand unveiling of the Team Coco Radio jingle. Let's do it. Team Coco Radio. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I love that part at the end. Can I hear that again? Just the last part. That's perfect. That's the sound I make after I've eaten an entire ham by myself. I love it, but I think we can do more. Team Coco Radio, the bottom of the show is Totem Pole. The fuck was that? <laughs> bottom of the show is Totem Pole? Did I mean, one of my writers come up with that? Uh, no. uh, yeah. Oh, and that's a fun joke for you. Yeah. Bottom of the show is Totem Pole. We weren't sure we were really allowed to sing totem pole. <laughs> what? They're inherently non-hierarchical. <laughs> Is this some PC thing where you no, can't well, mention a totem pole? Well, yeah, yeah. As a matter of yeah. fact. Oh, you don't think Sirius XM is hierarchical? <laughs> when I go to see the CEO, I go up 75 <laughs> flights of stairs. Past a lot of people who have no say in what happens around here. <laughs> what is his deal? He's actually a molecular biologist. Is that true? Yeah. Yes, it is. Why are you here? Best. That's how I support my singing career. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're a molecular biologist. I absolutely am. Do you realize there's been a pandemic actually, and you're here singing goddamn jingles? <laughs> I, Have you I done actually, anything to help I actually with the worked, COVID crisis? I tried to find inhibitors of the uh, viral protease during the early part of the pandemic. <laughs> Did you ever start to like move in on a cure for COVID, but stop because you had a jingle recording? Uh, no, there were a lot, wasn't a lot of jingling during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> all, almost all the arts I've never heard were so shut much down. Laughter about the pandemic. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'd like to do is um, some subliminal messaging that maybe makes people a little happier about Conan. Maybe gets a good positive message. Team Coco Radio. We hear he's an incredible lover. Mm -hmm. Right. Just ladies on that one. <laughs> Not that I have any problem with guys too. I'll try anything that I did in college, but just ladies on this one. Team Coco Radio. We hear he's an incredible lover. That's fantastic. Can that replace bottom of the showbiz totem pole? Well, we do both. Well, you got a lot of space to fill. It's a 24-7 channel, right? Wait, it's 24-7? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna I swear to God, I thought I was doing an hour a week. They could just repeat the same show over and over again like they do. No, we did that in the 90s and 2000s. <laughs> okay, here's another one. I hear this all the time. Team Coco Radio. He's much better looking in person. Mm. Women say you look so much better in person. Maybe some of you thought that. I did, yes. Did you really? True. So when I came in, what were your thoughts? <laughs> that you're much better looking in person. I usually wear glasses and, you know, oftentimes <laughs> I don't wear glasses, so. So you just, right now, you just see a blurry haze. I just look like Maybe. someone spilled borscht on the rug. <laughs> oh, here's one. Team Coco Radio. He's, he's got, got the hair, he's, he's got, got the brains, brains, he's got the body of a young Bing Rains. Mm -hmm. First of all, that aha uh -huh makes everything sound good, no matter what it is. Try this. The biopsy came back and it looks worrisome. Uh -huh. You know what I gotta say? I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about the biopsy anymore. <laughs> Were you tanning a lot in the 80s? Always. Okay, that's a mistake. Yeah. I last went out in the sun during Ronald Reagan's second administration. <laughs> <laughs> I am like an old, very rich Japanese woman. I wear gloves and a big hat. Hey, how about this? Team Coco Radio. 
radio His body's never seen the sunlight mm-hmm. That was depressing. Listen, I've tried to work with these professional <laughs> singers now. I've only been in the room for maybe eight minutes. You have gone on and on about your skills in molecular biology, and you told me that uh, I'm much better looking in person, mostly because you have bad eyes. What's your story? I work (laughs) here uh, running the Broadway channel on Broadway and Mm -hmm. Met Opera Radio. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's your favorite Broadway musical? Of all time? That's like choosing your children. Well, that's easy to do. My daughter. Oh. My daughter. Yeah. Wow. Got a daughter and a son, and she's just like killing it. And he's just like, I don't know, whatever. We'll see, but I doubt it. You know what I mean? I have one request. My wife, beautiful woman, we've been married 20 years, but I'd like a jingle that's Team Coco Radio. Hey, Liza, you could show a little more interest in Conan's career. Was she named after Liza Minnelli? No, she wasn't, Broadway person. <laughs> Not everyone named Liza is named after Liza Minnelli. Oh. It was a shortening of Elizabeth that existed back in the 1600s. <laughs> but you Broadway people think everything's about Liza. shaba da ba da ba shaba da ba da boo shaba ha ba da be Azusa, Azusa. <laughs> It was great having you sing with us. Do you really enjoy working with me? We've been doing these for a while without you and it was not the same. Of course it's not the same. Not- I'm, I'm serious, I don't like to blow my own horn, but you know what I mean? That's like the apostle saying, you know, I gotta say, we were having a pretty good time and then Jesus showed up <laughs> and he kicked things into a whole other gear. Duh, he's Jesus. You guys were all walking around in your sandals. He you didn't know what the hell was going on. And then I walk in the room and kablam. That's it, yeah. Fishes and loaves, the whole nine yards. Well, I think I'm done here and my career is over. <laughs> I just compared myself to Christ. We all know how that goes. We are going to move this thing along, but I'm very excited. I'm very excited about the channel. And two of you have brought an incredible (laughs) professionalism. And you, um, we need you in the scientific world because what you're doing here is not crucial. And this world is teetering on the edge. Do you think there's going to be another viral outbreak in the near future? There already has been. We just haven't identified it yet. (laughs) (laughs) Can you do that? work with this idiot. Uh-huh.